What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the Juice Box. We have our last and final guest today. Yep. Nolia in the building. What up, what up, what up? How everybody doing? Appreciate y'all having me. Right. So how did you find out about the Juice Box? Uh, my homie right here to the right, Alicia, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And my homegirl, Pretty Cash. Damn. Pretty Cash yeah. cool with her, so, you know, they, she told me to come down. Right, cool. Yep. So what do you do? Um, I actually rap, I run a label, I am an audio engineer, and that pretty much sums it up. <laughs> oh, that's a lot. A yeah. Lot under your belt. Uh -huh. And you also, what's up with the hats? You make your own hats? Yeah, yeah uh, Top Not Society, you know what I mean? We got the hats, and you know, that's the that's the label that we trying to get out the ground, and you know, our little movement, we also got the tees too. Right. These are the ones we pushing right now that we be selling, you can get them on my website youngknowyou.com go to the store tab and you know you can buy them if you're online i'll ship it straight to your door <laughs> Ooh, i need me one one of these days <laughs> get something so where are you from i'm from mississippi and uh i'm staying here on the south side of jonesboro so what made you move to atlanta um i used to come here and visit a lot when i was a kid when my um uncle neil used to live here mm -hmm. and um you know it's just it's just this place to be right now I was um, up in North Carolina, but you know, <laughs> Fayetteville, you know what I'm saying, Fayette, no, I'm two six, but <laughs> but yeah, I had to come down here to the A. Cool. So, what upcoming products do you have? Oh, uh, right now I got the. If you see these flies out in the city, it's me. It's for the uh, my um new EP I just did this past Friday called the '96 Draft. I called it that because you know I got a little nickname called Kobe Flying, so you know. Mm -hmm. It's kind of based off the whole uh, the Kobe flying concept and stuff like that. So um, that's what I got out right now with my um, new single, Watch Me. I just did a single release party yesterday. I swayed for it. and okay. Yeah. I just saw this all over your Instagram when I went on there today. <laughs> yeah. Dope. Yeah, I appreciate it. And yeah, then you I mean, emailed me your song today. And it was oh, dope yeah. Too. Oh, you liked it? Do you have it? You don't have a video for it yet? No, nah, yeah, not yet. I want to do it. Um, Probably like a month or two from now, cause I I just released the song. I just want to see, yeah. yeah. I just want to see what it do first before I just do a uh, video on it. Right. But yeah, if, if it if it's seem like it's doing okay right now, I'm trying to get the ball rolling on it. So probably like a month or two, I do one. So if y'all know any models that's trying to, I need some girls. Hey, <laughs> hey. Little model. Little model. <laughs> so what? Um, roadblocks have you come in contact with you know being on your career all that I mean yeah of course being an independent artist is tough because you don't have nobody really backing you that's why you know I do the clothes because you know nowadays you be in the streets trying to hustle your CDs people be like man I ain't finna give you five dollars for your CD who the hell is you or even online you know people you know it's the it's the free music era so you know you gotta make money some type of way so you know that's why I sell the, the clothes well not just me my you know my partner KJ and Swag and all of us you know we do our clothes and get out here and sell them and make our money back that way. Right. That's yeah. That's how you got to do it. I'm trying to get me some merchandise too. So I'm going to talk yeah. to you about yeah. what you're Oh, okay. Cool, cool. Yeah. Get that business out, you know. Yeah. So maybe we should get a little juicy with you. Send That's what's up. Juice Ooh, box juicy. here. <laughs> so I need to know, if you had any superpower, what would it be? Um... I'm gonna have to say fly. That's just cool to me. You know right. what I'm saying? Just like buddy, I, I I agree with her because if I could just be here and be like, all right, y'all, it was cool, and whew, get up, how the fuck up out of here, and go home. That that'd be some cool ass shit. Yeah. <laughs> so, in your opinion, this year, what's the best hip hop album out? This year, right now, um, in fifteen or just because <laughs> I. Ain't, I was, I know it ain't been no really it's, it's I ain't hard, been too many but, you, but if I have to pick one right now or how about this okay. we can do a little cheat for you cool of all time of all time my favorite album of all time Juvenile 400 Degrees that's the greatest yeah. album ever made to me what song she got on there huh I said what song she got on there Juvenile 400 Degrees yeah Back that ass up. Oh, that, hey, and, uh, yeah, yeah. Everybody know that. Throwing that's that's, that's my that, that's my favorite album ever. From he was just spitting so much game to me and coming up, listening to it. You know, not having no father figure around or nothing to tell you about girl. It, it, it told me a lot. <laughs> yeah. 
Dope. Okay, so what inspired you to just start your own clothing line? Besides the fact that you had to make money, like logos. Where the ideas for your logos come from? Yeah, how do y'all start off at Top Notch? Like, where did the um, name come from? Well, the name um, came, started for me and some friends, like, um, Years ago, you know, we all was going to high school together. We called it Top Notch Ballers. And, you know, um, after that I left. And then, you know, we uh, the name never died. You know, we always just, we kept a touch stuff like that. But right. me and my uh, partner, KJ, we was like, you know, kind of steam kept it going from that. It was like Top Notch Society. So, you know, it's like all of us still together. You know, we just took the, the balls off and put society on it. And, and, yeah, and, you know, what really inspires me to do it is just I love being a creative person like i love like you know fashion and you know any if you were good i just like to see people that's good at being creative at doing things you know so that's what really that's why i push myself to be to be a creative person that comes up with something that people either feel it or they want to mess with it you know what i'm saying so that that's what drives me to do it right cool we so. definitely gotta get some more of your people like up here like, oh yeah shout out my boy swag i need to tell swag to come up here pretty cash kj what up most dangerous productions more do man, what it do, King DJ, you know, my whole squad, top notch, what up, Bino, everybody, you know what I'm saying? So name one thing that sets you apart from all the rest. Ooh, uh, it's probably a lot. That's like that's like an arrogant question. <laughs> I don't want to sound arrogant. <laughs> uh, you know, you I mean, good, so I mean, I mean, I just try to be myself. You know, it, it seemed like nowadays. I mean, we was laughing about this one day. You know, like you know, it's a lot of. You know, trap rappers, which ain't nothing wrong with that, but we had made a joke like, man, it must be, it must be some uh, nice uh, drug dealers, cause I know everybody ain't getting along out there in that trap of all of them But you know, I still love the music, but you know, I just try to keep the music as close to me as 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 uh, I would be in any situation instead of just you know following a trend, cause it'll be easy for me to make a whole bunch of trap songs. But you know, I like to cater to women. I like to talk about personal stuff. Right. And my music and stuff like that as well. That's so really how you make the money. You got yeah. to all the crowd. Right? right, exactly. So that's what I try to do. All right. So if you had a plane, a plane. Right, you could fly to any island in the world, any place in the world really to live, what one place would you go? Miami. Really? Miami, Miami is yeah. the greatest city to me. I just, I'm just a tropical person, and uh -huh. that's my goal in life to own a beach house down there. If I can get get to a point where I can buy a beach house down there, then. I'll be straight. I'll be happy. <laughs> what attracts you to Miami? The girls? What? I went down there um in 2010 when the Saints was in the Super Bowl. I didn't even know I had family down there. But I went down there and um I was uh, just, just being there in the beach and, you know, the the women and, the you know, just the tropical. I love the beach and stuff like that. I love being around water even though I can't swim worth it now. I just like, I just like the beach. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So do you have any stories that you need to tell us? About one time when you couldn't swim and this happened. Oh, man. <laughs> one time I almost drowned. Yeah, I was, uh, matter of fact, I went on a cruise. And it was so funny because uh, back in back home in Mississippi on the Gulf Coast, mm -hmm. uh, it was a hurricane hit down there a long time ago, Hurricane Camille. And it did to, uh, and when it hit, you know, it pushed a lot of the, it, the water ain't deep. You got to walk like way out there for it to get deep. Mm -hmm. So uh, I had went on the cruise and, um. I, I kind of can swim now, but then I wasn't good. And, you know, I got off, we got off the boat and get on the island and stuff like that, walking on the beach. And, you know, I run out into the water or whatever, thinking it's going to be like the cold is going to take a while. But I took like three steps. That water was like right up here. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's over for me, but yeah. You just panic a little bit and you know what to do. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. So. Tell us the stories about your dreadlocks, cause I know all dreadlocks mean have meaning. And Busy just told us his story, so what's yours? I ain't going even flex. I was just I was wanting to do something different. It wasn't right. like you know I was, um, I was just looking for something different, cause I had cornrows before dreads, and I was this close to cutting my hair. And then I had a little cousin of mine. I was like, man, I'm finna let's go get dreads, man. Let's go get live. I was like, I, I want to do something different anyway, so right. I went and got twisted up. And um, this past August made ten years for me, so. Look at you. 10 year anniversary. Hey, hey, dress. <laughs> hey, dress, man. That's a long time. Yeah, that's too long? That's too young. That's too young? I had a friend. She that's hates too long. Oh, what? She did. I was like, girl, what's wrong with you? She was like, it's dirty. It's dead hair sticking together. I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't people wash their dreadlocks. I like them. Personally. Yeah, I, I keep mine clean. I don't I don't like to get them all matted up and not get them retwisted. Right. I try to get them retwisted like once a month. One last question for you. Okay. So, if you had one person that you can go back in time and meet, right? 
would it be? Michael Mix. Who? Michael Mix. Oh, Malcolm X. Yeah. It sounded like he said something different. What do you <laughs> <I said>? <laughs> Michael Mitch. <or> <laughs> 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 yeah, I want to go meet Mike. He sound like a mass murderer. <laughs> Michael Mitch. <laughs> well, what would you say to Michael, Malcolm X? Um, I was like, yeah. With the king? I, know. I mean, I mean, MLK, you know, he's cool. I would like to meet him too, but Michael Max, he was, he was about that shit. Right. He was. He was about He was just him. like, you know, he was like on some... Basically, they don't respect us, so why should we respect them? You know, Martin Luther King was more so, even though I respect what he was doing, he was more so, you know, trying to get along with folks. Michael Max was like, look, they put their hands on you. Mm-hmm. Shoot them. Shoot them. <laughs> so what do you think about what's going on, like, today with the lady taking down the Confederate yeah, flag racism. in yeah. South Carolina? And- I mean, it's 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 a crazy world right now. You know, and I'm from I'm from Mississippi, where it'd be, it be funny. I'd say Mississippi people like, oh, my God, they still think it's colors only spots and stuff like that down there, but... <laughs> Man, um, I re- I mean, that's what you believe in. I say do it, you know what I mean. But be be smart about it, you know what right. I mean. Don't get yourself in trouble because at the end of the day, that's what they that's what they want to see us in anyway. And mm-hmm. locked and chain behind bars, be be all the way one hundred. They don't want to see us come together. So you know, that's I would love to see our people just come together more, and you know, not just trying to come together when it's a race issue. You know, it's yeah. it's teens being killed in Chicago everywhere every day. You know what I mean. We gotta come together and do stuff for them and you know what i mean let's come together and, and make our people stronger you know what i mean and not just you know i know it's important to come together when it's a race issue but you know we have our own issues that need to be take care of first you know what i mean so let's let's just be smarter and get along and you know what's up my brother what's up my sister instead of man I'm, man fuck you nigga you know i'm right. Yeah, it's about me. <laughs> long dreadlocks, wisdom. <laughs> so tell right. the people where they can find you on social media and your music and all that. Easiest thing to say, I'm just say youngknowyour dot com, man. You can go in there. I got all my music, videos, stuff like that, and. But uh, if you're on Instagram and um, Twitter and all them other networks, I just keep it simple, man. Y'all know your TNS, one thing, and just follow me on all that, man. And I'm going to follow you back because I like to see what's going on in other people's life, too, how y'all living. So, And uh, don't forget about the, the 96 Draft EP. Y'all can get that, too, y'all know you com. You see these flies in the street, man. Pick it up. Go listen to it. I guarantee you some good music. Five hey, tracks. And then get one of these fly hats. Like oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They $60. No, I'm playing. <laughs> I'll play with y'all. Yeah, I get the reasonable price. But yeah, holla at me, man. Shout out to KJ. Shout out to Swag. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? MD. Pretty Cash. Alicia. Jade. Jade. Mm-hmm. My new friend, Jade. Everybody, man. Being old, my dude, man. What's up with y'all? Thanks for coming on the show with us. I appreciate y'all having me, man. I love y'all, man. I'm going to come back again. Right. <laughs> so we got one more guest before the show's over. So come right back.